What is that place? Where the counselors were meant to watch the consecration of the icon. The start of the great journey. There is still time to stop the key from turning. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to the 13th and final episode of my Halo 2 Legendary playthrough on the original Xbox. In this episode we're playing through the last mission in the game which is the Great Journey. It's kind of controversial because back when the game came out nobody knew you'd be playing as, as a Covenant Elite, the Arbiter, and a lot of people weren't happy that they cap the game off with you playing as the Arbiter and not the Chief, but I'm okay with it. Maybe not at the time. I, honestly, I don't think I put a lot of thought into it back in the day, but I'm going to drive it. I'm going to drive it. I, I, I can't remember if I, if I got upset or mad. I remember thinking it was so cool that they were letting you play as, a, as an elite, you know, and having the invisibility and the sword and all that stuff. You know, I thought that was, that was really awesome. But I don't, I don't think I was ever upset about it. So in this part, we're just going to be fighting our way towards the, that central structure right there. And there's going to be a lot of groups on ghosts, so you just have to move around a lot, give your gunner good angles. And there's a, another tank that shows up that you can hijack. That way you'll both have tanks. hated how and the gunners like they'll shoot like sometimes like they'll do it in burst watch out, watch out. oh Oh, he's trying to get away. He knows what's coming. Check it out on the car. There we go. That's how you kill them. Alright, right. Now we have a race. Do some real damage. And apparently by real damage I mean allow a brute on a ghost to take a direct shot from the main cannon. Seems legit. And there's a phantom that's gonna come over here, you gotta watch out for him. Did I, oh, did I destroy it? No, okay. There, Arbiter. That scallop's main gun will break the control room doors. Get over here and 
take the guns off. Oh, it's so hard to hit though with a with a uh, raid. Terrible weapons. Starting off. The Arbiter? I thought he was dead. Hold your fire. The hunters have come to our aid, Arbiter. They will fight uh -huh. by our side. Alright, so these rooms coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Kill him? Oh, my bad, dude. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Oh, no. I betrayed the hunters on accident. Now, I thought I picked up a... Was it just one? Beam rifle? I thought there was like a... Dang, a beam rifle. I guess it was just one. I wish I hadn't accidentally killed that freaking hunter, my bad man. Oh, here they come with them brute shots. Things are ridiculous on Legendary. the thing with all the ammo. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hunt that. Look at this guy just hanging out. This ain't no party. Oh my god, I didn't realize. Hmm. 
I wish that, uh, that weapon crate that had the carbines in it hadn't blown up or whatever happened to it. I don't even know what happened to it. I think the next part is the bridge and then you go outside again. Yeah. So this part has jackal snipers, buggers, brutes, regular jackals. I think he just jumped off the bridge trying to get away from my grenade. That's hilarious. Oh, I didn't see that sniper in there. And then there's a phantom that's going to show up from this side. Buggers are gonna come out. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, here comes the Phantom. So, I'll just hang out, wait for the Phantom to leave. See if I can pick off any buggers in the meantime. You can shoot the, the guns, you know, but it takes so much ammo to destroy them if you don't have, like, a rocket or something that it's just not even really worth it. up there so we'll just go right by them. I don't know what it is I don't like leaving guys alive in an area I always Always end up going back <laughs> to finish a lot. Here, yeah. There we go. Is it? There we go. So, oh. 
trying to remember if we got more rooms or if we go back outside. I guess we'll know here in just a second. Okay, yeah. These are the prison cell rooms. So, there's going to be cells that have, like, uh, elites and uh, hunters. And so you can shoot the, the thing that's creating the force field that's keeping them in the cell. And then that'll free them. So, like, right here. I don't know if there's actually a guy in there or not, but... Some of them don't have anybody in them. And, and see, you don't want to free just one guy so he can go down there and get killed immediately either you know I mean you can but it's not the best outcome like if you can thin the brutes out a little bit Two of them, so it's a little bit more competition. More of a fair fight. A brute shot. I guess I can pick up one of them. Bring a brute shot ammo everywhere. We'll just do some grenade spam. Oh, okay. That was the only room. Activate this ray, and we're all gonna die. Tartarus has locked himself inside the control room. Well, I just happen to have a key. Come on, grab a banshee and give me some cover. He's gonna know we're coming. And then these guys are bringing us some banshees. This part is tricky, especially on legendary. The banshee battles, like you have to be real careful because. Those other guys will kill you so fast. Alright. So you have to take out... There's a... Uh... Yeah, you have to take them out before the Scarab can... ...proceed. Wow. 
And then there's gonna be uh, mounted turrets on these cliff sides, so you wanna take them out because they'll kill you pretty quick too. this other banshee because this one's about to blow. I need to find some better weapons too before I chart off and uh because the next part when you're when you get out on foot you still got the same weapons. So I don't think there was anything better was there? It looked like it. might backtrack back in real quick just to see if I can find something with a little range. next room, once you land the Banshee, there's some tunnels where you can kind of use some stealth with your invisibility. So that might be handy to have the uh, between the sniper and the sword. So the skull on this mission, when we come out into this open area where the room is, ooh. so we're gonna take a beeline. Oh. This skull is called Black Eye, and basically what it does, I'm not gonna pick it up, but what it does is it makes it to where the only way to recharge your health is to kill something with a melee. And I think it can even be allies. But you have to melee, melee something to death to get your health back. So 
you have to come over here and then slow walk up here is that is the black eye skull all right we will get on with the mission can't remember I can't remember if you can walk. I don't think you can walk all the way to the top or not. So I don't think there's a way for me to get back over there. Oh, well, yeah, I can. I should be able to just drop down onto the ledge. Yeah. Yeah, he already blew it up. I guess we missed that, but he shoots the scarab gun and blows up the uh, the door so that we can get in. So there's a bunch of brutes are gonna come out up here. I think you might have to go like a certain amount into the room. Can't remember. Yeah. Do not let them enter the chamber! The chieftain must complete his holy work! Thank you. 
find a stronger position. So this is probably what I've always found was the easiest way to do this part. Because they don't really come down here that much. So you can just kind of sit here and pick them off with plasma grenades or sword shots. This part's pretty cool. As you can tell, this is the same kind of floor from the control room from Halo 1. Come, human. It is easy. Take the icon in your hands. And do as you are told. Please use caution. This reclaimer is delicate. One more word, Oracle, and I'll rip your eye from its socket. Mm. Which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Tartarus, stop. <sighs> Impossible. Put down the icon. Put it down. And disobey the Hierarchs? There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. <sighs> Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle, what is Halo's purpose? Collectively, the seven... Wrong! Not another word! Please. Don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings. What are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the Forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the galactic center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the prophets have betrayed us. No, Arbiter. The great journey has begun. And the brutes, not the elite, shall be the prophet's escort. Always just let the elites and Johnson take out those guys and then chase Tartarus over here. And you have to wait for Johnson to shoot Tartarus three times with his beam rifle. And he has to connect all three shots in order to drop his shield, and then you can attack him. If you can get the first lick, if you can get as many licks as you can with the sword, you can kill him faster, but it's hard. Because, as you see, he'll he can one-shot you, so. And then these brutes come out whenever, uh... That's it? Johnson, I'm on it. Hang tight, ma'am. Not until that brute is dead. <laughs> my aim, oh my god. I missed all those shots. What is happening? Oh, I didn't even see this guy. Sneak up there with me. Secondary 
generators I thought, charging. Oh, there he is. So once you take out all the brute reinforcements, it, it's a while before. See, if you can get a back shot, you can hit him with the sword. You just don't want to hit him with the sword while he's facing you. And then sometimes it'll you'll see him on your, your radar, but he's not around. That means he's up on top level. See, he just dropped down. Come on, Arbiter! Kick that guy's ass! See, he didn't get all three shots on him. Platform's kind of tricky too because you have the holes, you have the gravity lift in the middle. If you get too close, you'll fall down. Another thing is getting like usually if you hold him out in the middle like this, that's kind of where Johnson can get the best angle on him because it's like otherwise. Okay, so we got more brutes coming out. Anytime the brutes come out, always go to the top level or the bottom level. Usually the top, because the bottom level they have them holes where they can see you. So go to the top level and then try to use it to shoot down from the middle onto the brutes that are still alive. Which may not. Oh, yeah, I see one. Oh, that's harder. I thought that was one of the other birds. Just always be aware while you're fighting him, you know, every two or three damage phases. 
be looking for uh, just kind of ride the elevator up and be looking for group reinforcements. how much of a tank he is like we were all unloading on him right there Good thing is the elite reinforcements continue there to goes come. Oh, he's up there. Be careful. Yeah, I hate that my carbine is out of ammo. Longest boss fight ever. You only put off the inevitable. Like 
How many shots does it take? What's the matter, <laughs> Arbiter? Some freedom, my little hammer? Finally, holy crap. Take it, Arbiter Tartars. Take it. What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency of... Communicating with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... <laughs> then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark, of course. And where, Oracle, is that? This is Spartan 117. Can anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. Oh, there it is. The line that left many a Halo fan disappointed. <laughs> Everybody was like, what? A cliffhanger? Myself included. I couldn't believe it. That does it. I tell you what, this took a lot longer. <laughs> not not because of how hard it, which it is harder on Legendary than Halo 1 or any other Halo game. Halo 2 holds the crown for being the hardest Halo game on Legendary. But just a number of other things that made it take, I think maybe almost a year for me to finish doing this playthrough. Because I know I've had gaps in between episodes that took a while because I had issues with my TV or this or that or whatever. But I'm glad that that I've made it through <laughs> finally. Um, I will say that Halo 2 is such a... It's, it's kind of, especially amongst older, older Halo fans, it's kind of divisive. I talked about this in some of the earlier episodes, but when it first came out... You know, people didn't, they didn't like a lot of the changes that they made to the set, you know, the like grenade throw distance is way shorter in this game. The power of the grenades is, is uh, a lot less than Halo 1. The dual wielding made it to where dual wieldable weapons were weaker. There's a lot of other stuff like that, that, uh, but over the years, the more I've played it I've come to really love Halo 2 and how it really from a story perspective it's one of the best you know it gives us gives us such a unique look into the Covenant side of the Halo universe so that part is really cool and I think I mentioned this before, but I'm, I'm kind of jealous of newer players, younger players who get to experience Halo 2 on the Master Chief Collection, the Anniversary Edition first, because this game was so ambitious that graphically it 
going, especially now going back and play it, it looks rough in some areas because they were trying to do so much. But and whereas in Halo One Anniversary, I think the original looks better because of its art style. In Halo Two Anniversary, I think that the Anniversary Edition actually looks better. And playing through it, like you really feel like they realize finally what they what the game was supposed to look like. So. And they got a cool uh, legendary post credit scene that we'll wait and watch that shows up after after all the credits are done that you only get if you beat it on legendary. I was planning on doing, uh, playing through all the games on the original hardware, so my plan was to do Halo 3 next, but since technically Halo 3 ODST takes place uh, during Halo 2, I thought maybe I should do ODST next, so if anybody makes it this far and you have any thoughts on what I should do, uh, leave a comment and let me know. And either one is fine with me. If, if nobody says anything or nobody has a preference, then I'll just stick to doing uh, Halo 3 on the Xbox 360 next. It's crazy too watching the the credits and seeing all the names of you know all these people from Bungie that from back in the Halo day when you were so you know into the Vidox and all that stuff you know and you recognize all these names and contrary to, to popular belief amongst the internet a lot of the people who worked on these games are still at Bungie. I know there tends to be kind of a rival between Halo and Destiny nowadays. So a lot of Halo fans don't don't like Bungie anymore or don't like Destiny or whatever. But I'm a hardcore Bungie fan, so I love Destiny and Halo. But yeah. To everybody who watched the series, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll get to working on that Halo 3 series unless somebody wants ODST first. But we'll watch this. And thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Silence fills the empty grave now that I have gone. But my mind is not at rest, for questions linger on. I will ask, and you will answer. All right. Shoot. <laughs>